We begin tonight following up on a concern for families impacted by the Tops mass shooting. When might they see the money raised through online donation platforms? The largest fundraiser created in the wake of the attack, the Buffalo 514 Survivors Fund, has raised nearly $2 million as of tonight. But we've heard from loved ones of the victims who say they're still waiting for next steps to get their share of the financial assistance. Tonight, I'm taking an in-depth look at who's handling the money and how they'll ensure it gets to the right people. The mass shooting in Buffalo is not the first tragedy the National Compassion Fund has responded to. Executive Director Jeff Dion tells me he has done this 22 times since 2014. 100% of the donations that are donated for victims go to victims. To ensure money goes to the right people, Dion has a thorough but lengthy process, and it starts by getting the right people at the table. How do we make the decision about how these funds are gonna be distributed among these survivors? Um, there's no right or wrong answer, but it's most important that it's the local answer. Enter Pastor Mark Blue, president of the NAACP's Buffalo branch. He will co-chair a steering committee that will decide who's eligible and how the money will be distributed. We will be doing some uh, with great diligence, uh, coming up with a process to which we uh, feel that the conversation is given out fairly. Here's how it works. The steering committee will establish a so-called protocol, the rules governing the process and eligibility. Then they'll ask for public comment on the protocol and hold a town hall for in-person feedback. So it's not just a, a steering committee and then we go out and run with it. It's a community effort. When you're giving away millions of dollars, we owe it to the victims and we owe it to the donors to make sure we do it right and to make sure we do it in a way that's transparent and trauma informed and victim centered. Blue expects donations won't get to survivors and victims families for another five to six months, giving time for community input and to raise more money for victims. We ask that we continue to be patient and that again, that's a bad word in a crisis like this, uh, but we're trying to do the best we can uh, to make sure that the families and to make sure that the victims are being taken care of. There is more immediate money being made available. Victims and their families wanting help covering burial and funeral expenses can get up to $6,000 from the New York State Office of Victim Services, up to $10,000 from Douglas Development, and additional funds from the National Action Network. All requests must go through the Erie County District Attorney's Office. And because we are getting a lot of questions from victims' families about how to access these emergency funds, we've put all the details for you at WKBW.com. As for the Buffalo 514 Survivors Fund that's managed by the National Compassion Fund, if you think you might qualify, sign up on the National Compassion Fund's website to get updates.